Hey friends, welcome to today's video. My name is Stephanie if you're new here and today we're going to be looking at my fall favorites. I have been so excited for this video ever since I did my summer favorites a few months ago and I'm born in October so naturally I think that fall is the best season. But yeah, hopefully you're just as excited as I am about this beautiful swatch wheel. So let's get into my picks. So the first shade I'm starting with is none other than Essie's Wicked, which is described as a striking and bold blood red lacquer. It's just one of those iconic vampy shades for the season that everyone needs. So on the first coat, you can see that it is a little sheer and even has a bit of a purplish tinge to it, but it still leans very red when compared to other vampy shades, especially deeper purples. The wide brush helped make the application really smooth and since it's so dark it was fully opaque for me in just two coats. This one is just a classic. Next I'm showing Cranberry Twist from Noodles Nail Polish, which is a cranberry red jelly that's filled with gold, metallic, and holographic glitters. So this is my original bottle from a few years ago that's almost, almost out <laughs> because I just use it every year. But luckily this is a polish that Natalie has never discontinued, so you can still go grab this if you want. Like other jellies, this is very sheer on the first coat, and since I am swatching on a clear swatch wheel, it's just going to look a lot more patchy and sheer than if I was swatching it on my nails, so just keep that in mind. So on the second coat, it does still look a little patchy and uneven, there's not exactly full coverage. And I have worn this on my nails with two coats, but I personally like building it up with three coats because it just deepens the cranberry base color and layers more of those glitters. So it just looks a lot more dimensional. There's just a lot more depth, I think, when you layer three coats of a Crelly like this. So I can't recommend this one enough, especially for the month of November. Next, I have Modern Auburn from China Glaze's Autumn Spice Collection last fall. That whole collection is amazing and honestly just one of my favorite releases. But I especially love this shade because of the amazing formula and absolutely gorgeous color. I think it's a great alternative if you want something that's sexy but not vampy <laughs> if you're not into the super super dark nails but yeah this is a beautiful deepened kind of like a maroon or maybe more of a brick red shade so so gorgeous and easily opaque in two coats so the next shade is loves you latte from the same autumn spice collection last year and this one is described as a chestnut brown cream. So I mentioned it in my transitional favorites video that I tend to lean into these brown leaning orange shades the deeper into fall we get. A close contender was Copper from Olive F Polish, but it's a bit lighter and a little bit more orangey. Not to mention, I think it's sold out, so it felt right to share this shade instead since this one has another amazing formula. Next up is Autumn from ILNP, which I reviewed a couple weeks ago. So this has a jelly base, so it's very sheer on the first coat, especially for these super long swatch wheel nails. If I remember correctly, I only needed two coats on my actual nails for full opacity, but I ended up having to do three coats here to build up and really deepen the color. I know so many of you absolutely loved this whole collection as much as I did, so it was really hard to narrow down my selections, but I definitely would recommend Autumn if you don't have any really warm and sparkly brown shades in your collection. I think this is another shade that is so perfect for November, and it's definitely very unique to my collection. I absolutely love it. Speaking of sparkly browns, the next polish is Boa Constrictor from Mooncat, which released earlier this year. So this features a linear holographic finish in a gorgeous medium brown base. Kind of like the last shade, this ended up looking really sheer on the first coat and I needed three coats for this swatch to build up the color, but I know for sure I was able to get it opaque on my actual nails in two coats. 
So I think this shade is a little bit more cooler toned or well, it's very obviously cooler toned than autumn right next to it because autumn features those red, orange, micro flakies. So it makes it really, really warm. But I think Bow Constrictor is definitely a great alternative if you want something that's just brown, but not just a brown cream, you know, like a fun brown. <laughs> I really do love wearing browns in the fall. And this one is so cozy and beautiful with that holographic effect. The next shade I have is Nirvana by Sinful Colors, which is a cool toned brown cream. So I remember when I found this in some random Walgreens, I just immediately fell in love because it was so unique to my collection. I know that these cool tone browns might not be the most flattering, but I think they're so beautiful. This one especially, I find this one to be flattering on me, so that's why I like it and it's in my favorites. <laughs> but I like sinful colors in general too. I feel like they have some great color options and for the most part, their formulas are pretty great. This is just two coats. Next up is NCLA's 75 Degrees is Freezing in LA, which I think is just so funny for the name alone and annoying to hear as an East Coast girl because 75 Degrees sounds amazing. But this shade is just so, so pretty. It's described as a light nude cream, but I would consider this like a light rosy mauve kind of shade. And this one has an impeccable formula. It gave me insanely great coverage on the first coat, but I did two coats just to be safe and make sure that I had full opacity. But yeah, I really love the pink undertones this one has, and I think it's a great light neutral that's super cozy. The next polish is Western Boots from LA Colors, which I knew I had to include in my fall favorites. I think in my swatch and review video, I said that this is like the perfect shade to wear with a chunky beige sweater, and I'm gonna make that happen this season. I definitely can't recommend this one enough either. The formula might be a little thin, and especially how it looks on the swatch wheel again, but I got it opaque in two coats, and it's such a beautiful color. I know I'm repeating myself a lot, but I just think this is another perfect cozy shade. I'm just so into the warm neutral shades for fall. Next up, we have another noodles nail polish. This one is called Pumpkin Spice, and it's another fall staple for me that thankfully also never left Natalie's shop. So like I mentioned in my transitional favorites video, I absolutely love off-white cream kind of shades for fall so the base color alone is just so so beautiful and perfect for what i want to wear this season but it's even more beautiful because of that fun mix of orange and yellow brown and even really tiny black glitters in this so it just makes it so fun to wear this admittedly has a slightly better formula than Cranberry Twist since it's more of a crelly base than a jelly base, so it's just a little bit easier to work with. And it is wearable on two coats as seen here, but since the base is so light, you might get some visible nail line. But yeah, this one is just so, so fun. So if I had to choose an orange, I would choose Authentic Apricot from Doctor's Remedy. I think it's just so, so beautiful, but unfortunately, I don't know what happened to my swatch footage, but this is two coats. Next, I have Pep Rally from Loud Lacquer, which came out a couple years ago, but it's just one of my favorite yellows for fall. I've mentioned before that I'm not super big into true mustard shades, so a pastel mustard like this is just perfect for me. This one has a really great formula where it was really easy to apply, super even coverage on the first coat, but I ended up getting it opaque in two coats, and it's just so beautiful, especially paired next to that orange. Next, I have another loud lacquer, and this one is called Juice Cleanse. Unfortunately, I somehow didn't record the swatch video for this one either, so apologies for that, but this is two buttery smooth coats. It's definitely one of my favorite greens for this time of year. Next is another NCLA polish from the same collection, and this one is called Camo is the New Black. It's kind of this army green that's very dusty and just absolutely beautiful. 
It's one of my favorites since it doesn't lean super olive since, as you probably know, I'm not the biggest fan of yellow leaning greens. So this one is just so perfect for me. I love how it's still very deep, but there's just like that dusty element to it. So this one, for whatever reason, had a little bit more of a sheer formula, at least on the first coat, but I got it fully opaque in two coats. It still has a buttery smooth formula, just like the other NCLA polish, and it is beautiful. Next, I have Rio from Static Nails, which is this deep but dusty navy blue. It has an incredibly smooth formula and an amazing brush, so application is always a dream with these polishes, even though they are on the pricey side. But yeah, this color is just everything. I love navy nails for fall, as I'm sure most of you do as well. And this one is just one of my favorites because it is still deep, but not deep enough where it looks black, even though it kind of looks black in this specific lighting. <laughs> you can still definitely tell it's navy, but more importantly, I just love how dusty it looks. The dustier a polish is, the better for me. Next, I have Rue Morgue, which is available from Mooncat. I just have this bottle from before the rebrand. But this has an almost indigo base shade with a stunning electric blue shimmer running throughout. And this one actually dries down matte. Normally, matte polishes are finicky to work with because they tend to dry down super fast. But this one is so, so easy, even with a skinny brush. So <laughs> I definitely can't recommend it enough, especially since the Mooncat version will have a wide brush, so it'll make it a lot easier. But yeah, it dries down fully matte in really even coverage. It's just so, so beautiful. I got it fully opaque in two coats, and I do think I would prefer wearing it glossy just because I love that shimmer in there, but I also tend to wear matte nails more often in the fall, so I had to include this one. Here's a clip once it's fully dried down, so you'll have to let me know, do you prefer matte or glossy? The next polish I have is Spice Spice Baby from Noodles Nail Polish. This one is like a purpley mauve crelly that has orange and gold glitters with a delicate gold shimmer. Sadly, this one is from a few years ago, but Natalie actually brought back a 2.0 version called Spice Girl, which I believe should be restocking on the 24th. So I'll have her website linked down below so you can check into that. This is another crelly that I wear every year because it's just so soft and cozy, especially with a chunky beige sweater. <laughs> I know, I'm very basic, but let me live, okay? This is another one that I think is wearable on two coats, but I think it's worth doing the third just to build up the color and the depth of those glitters even more. So I'm not sure if my bottle actually has discolored over the years a little bit, but the 2.0 version is a little bit more of a purple leaning kind of color. The original is supposed to be more on the brown side, so I'm not sure what happened to my bottle, but it's still beautiful either way. <laughs> the next shade is Beware the Kraken from Mooncat's Expedition Atlantis collection, which released this past summer. This is a deep violet jelly base with red and gold magnetic shimmer and reflective glitters. So this is definitely an intensely packed polish, despite how underwhelming it might look here on this first coat. The jelly base is a little sheer, but easily buildable, and I'd probably recommend doing three coats for this as well to make it fully opaque. I believe that I did share swatches of this collection on my Instagram when they first launched, and I do remember having to do three coats on my nails, even though this one was on the darker side. I just liked the coverage more on three coats. And since I'm swatching on the clear swatch wheel, it's a lot easier to see through the polish. So again, just keep that in mind. But anyway, I'd love to know if you're into magnetics. They used to be one of my least favorite finishes because they're just pretty tedious, but the end result is so, so worth it. So they've really grown on me. Here you can see that I'm doing a cat eye effect with a bar magnet and it definitely looks more pronounced on your nail 
than what you can see here. But here's a clip with flash so you can see those stunning reflective glitters. And then here's three coats on my pinky using the velvet effect with the round end of the magnet. The shade may have came out months ago, but it is so perfect for this season. The next polish is Dakota, my other pick from Island P's Harvest Collection. Again, I do wish I could include them all, but I knew for sure I had to include this one since I just love sparkly purples for the fall. This one is on the warmer side because it features a pink and purple shimmer and it builds up so nicely. I did have to do three coats again for this swatch wheel due to the more jellyish base and the clear nails, <laughs> but I got it opaque on my nails in two coats since the color is just so deep. I think this has been a fan favorite since the release and it is for sure going to be worn so much this season. I think this shade is so perfect for Halloween and just like the end of October, but also November because of Scorpio season. This polish just gives me Scorpio vibes, so if you're a Scorpio, I would love to know if you love this shade. And my final pick is Arsenic from Static Nails. This is another deep, vampy shade that's a bit more obviously on the purple side. So for whatever reason, it looks super, super sheer here, so I had to build it up in three coats for full coverage, but I know that I've worn it with full opacity on two coats on my actual nails so take that as you will but yeah i knew i had to include another really deep vampy cream shade kind of to compare it to essie's wicked which next to this looks borderline black and i know that i said i wasn't really into polishes that are so dark they look almost black but i think essie's wicked and even Linkin Park After Dark, which was the contender for this spot. <laughs> Those are the only two exceptions, I think. But I decided to pick Arsenic just because you can tell that it is still a very, very deep purple. It's just so gorgeous. And here's a look at my completed swatch wheel of my fall favorites. So while I did want to keep a bit of a rainbow element because rainbows are beautiful any time of the year, I think it's pretty obvious to see that I lean into a lot of the purples and reds and browns during this time of year. But if I am craving a pop of color, I would choose one of these shades. I think they're just so fun and bright, but still very suitable for the season, even though you can wear whatever you want. You know, this is my favorites, but I absolutely love just the deeper shades, the jewel tone ones, like the sparkly ones. There's just so, so many polishes. It was really hard to narrow it down. 20 is a lot, but I'm a Libra, okay? It's hard to pick favorites. So I'm interested to hear which one you like the most, but yeah, that's my wheel. So that wraps up my fall favorites for the 2022 season. So here's another look at my swatch wheel, which I am just so, so excited about. I think it's so beautiful. So I can't wait to hear what you all think of these shades and let me know which colors are you looking forward to wearing this season. If you tend to gravitate towards certain colors or maybe towards certain finishes, let me know any and all thoughts that you have down below in the comments so we can chat about it. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.